Okay, uh, the rendering is now down. Let's have a look. That doesn't look bad, but I do have a few problems with this. Okay, so number one is that um, these streaks here, it seems like uh, there's no velocity blur on them. Okay, um, and there's something weird going on right here. So, <clears throat> also, you see how this um, heat uh, or the fuel just disappears. I don't like that either. Okay, so I'm going to make a few changes. I like the way how this goes here, which is good. And it's also low resolution and you've got a lot of noise. So we got a lot of problems here. All right, let me disconnect this. And let me go and try and fix one at a time. First of all, trails. I'm gonna go in and check the rasterize. So there is velocity blur. I'm gonna reset the shutters to 0.5. We increase the blur samples to eight. Okay, hopefully that should fix it. Let's have a look at it. And let's go into Pyrosource. Let's disconnect everything but the flares. Yeah, sorry. Uh, it's not flares, it should be trails. Okay, I'm going to disconnect all of it apart from the trails. Okay, and let me run this. Okay, let's do a little render. Um, okay, that uh, doesn't look good. Why did I call them flares? I don't know. I'll call them trails. Okay. And this is also called flares. I meant to say trails. Okay. All right, good. Um, I'm going to render this again. Yeah. That looks better. Um, this is so much better now, okay? But obviously this block, blocky thing is to do with the resolution. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go inside of here and I'm going to say I want you to be at a higher resolution. Okay, now let's render it and see how that looks. Yeah, that is so much better. That's looking very good. Very, very good. Okay. So, all right, that's all fine now. Um, but do I want it like that is the question. Are my trails? What does it say here? It's heat. Um, okay. Let's try and adjust that for a second here. How about if I change the scale to four? I think that's sufficient, to be honest. Um, yeah. Let's cut and split in half. Sixteen, four. Now it's eight. Okay. That's good. All right, I think I'm happy with that. All right, good. Let's move on. I don't want to waste any more time. And now I want to look at the um, shockwave. All right, and let's uh, try and render that now. Yeah, shockwave looks good, um, but if I go to frame number 10, you see a lot of that. I think what we got to do is I'm going to kill the emission on this. Um, why is that not working? Uh, let me go in, check 
Shockwave. It is Shockwave. Okay. Um. Oh, that's because... There you go. Alright. So now I killed it. Um, it was originally 16. Yes, that's right. And now I killed it. Because I don't want... Um, the emission to come through in the shockwave okay so that's looking good let's move on to main which is this one okay so let me render that go and select main okay and I think I'm going to change the channel to heat, actually, not hat, heat. It's going to look better at a later time. All right, so we've now got everything set up. I'm just going to connect that there, connect that here, and these two connect them as well. So everything is now connected. So I think we've got everything set up here. So all we need to do is try and get a few variations using the seed, that's all, okay? So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, um, the uh, sims are done now. So let's check it out. Okay, so these are the uh, three sims and they are based on different seed numbers. Okay, so I'm not sure which one I like. This is the first one with seed 0. This one is seed 0 0.71. And this is seed 3.71. So this looks completely different. Okay, I think I'm going to go with uh, 3.71. All right, good. Let's uh, get back in. So it's already, oh no, 3.17, not 71, 3.17. Okay, it's already set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, cache this out and let's move on to rendering. Okay. Okay, the simulation is now complete. Let me run it through for you. I think that looks pretty cool and the wind is coming into action as you can see it's moving in the negative x direction okay all right perfect we're gonna jump straight into rendering so let me choose I don't know frame 48 and let's click on render I'm gonna press F to frame it that looks pretty good um, I just I'm not a big fan of this uh, line in the background okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look through our sunlight and I'm just gonna change it slightly like that way let's just uh, get into this gear icon here which is redshift post effects okay I'm gonna kill this render and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit um, I've already got these set up. I'm just gonna go through one by one. So, first of all, color. I just uh, color correct it a little bit, crushed the black a little bit, okay? That's all it is. So, okay. And then I enabled photographic exposure. I always use this because it's much cooler. And then I also enabled desaturation. Um, you will see desaturation better and let's say frame number 24 okay so here it is so if I disable this you'll see a lot of orange peeking through and if I enable this it's not that much anymore and I always use this okay so that's what that is and then I will enable bloom I increase the intensity to 4 I think it was originally 1 so um, without it with it okay and then the next one is flare. I enabled that also. And you saw a little 
change right here and it disabled enabled okay now you only got to do this for one frame and the rest of the frames will continue to work with that okay so um, I think let me go ahead and kill that one all right good and press F to frame it again and at 48 48 it looks like that okay I think that's not bad so what I also did was I went and uh, changed the max samples to 64 here and global illumination um, GI rays to 64 also and then in sunlight let's see um, I would like to actually enable the sky shader and I will also increase the contribution volume contribution scale to 2 and increase the samples to 64 okay so I think that's all of it um, then let me go into output AOV I will add three elements here one is volume fog emission second is volume lighting the third one is emission okay so that's looking good but it also looks like the embers is not coming through so I'm gonna go ahead and enable that that's why it's not there because it's disabled so that's all looking good now with this enabled it looks a lot different all right so let's try and fix this right now okay I'm just gonna leave them all enabled all right um, okay so if I go into shop and embers so we've got intensity multiplier of thousand here for some reason so I'm gonna bring that down to one okay that looks a lot better I'm gonna go inside of embers and I'm gonna see if I can change this because I think that's just too white um, maybe I should get rid of this white here yeah that is changing that's good all right one of the last tiles okay so that has changed that's looking good um, but I want a little bit of orangey tint to this okay so like that I think it's better yeah that looks a lot better all right good I've got that now perfect it's got a little bit of noise um, I'm gonna render this and I'm gonna come back to you okay